Okay, and we're live. It's been a while. Um, but I'm back. I have some new molds to show you. <clears throat> Here's one of my latest molds. Check him out. He's listed up on the website. There's a coupon code on the home page, and it's currently on sale. That's a silicone mold to make that head. And um, these small molds have all been listed up. And I've done a brush technique um, using the pigment colors inside the molds. This is a little picture frame. I did have a little overpour here on my resin, but a picture would go in, in here. So it's got the girl bunny and the boy bunny. So I used a paintbrush. Little paintbrush tip and the colors, pigment colors. And when I was doing it, um, I very carefully took, put some alcohol on, on the paper towel and I would wipe up to the top of the brush and just keep the pigment on the tip of the brush and I would tap it off good because when you go to touch the molds, because they're like magnetic, it will pull pigment into areas you don't want it. Then you have to take a wet paper towel wrapped around your finger and bend your mold and wipe it out of where you don't want it. So it can be a little tedious until you get your technique down. Let's see if I can bring the camera down a little bit. Maybe not. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lori. So I want to unmold these. And like I said, all these are listed up on the website already, lacranchcreations.com. So let's do the boy and the girl bunny. I'm anxious to see how they look. I think they look adorable. I love it. So although I did have a little bit of overpour here, uh, I dome the back of my molds a lot of the time because resin shrinks down. So I'll have to trim this, this out. But this is where you would put the picture on the back side. And then you could put any... Um, you know, any backing you wanted on that. And then adhere a little clip to that. But I think that's so adorable. So that mold's listed up. So cute. So cute. on maybe I can try to get the glare off of these a little bit. My my camera's hooked on to my extended light pole here. Let me see. Is that too dark? Well, I think that's lit up pretty good. You can see the colors. Oh thanks Lori. Wasn't sure if anybody would really like these or not. You know, I'm noticing a lot of people are liking the little tiny kitty things and Disney things and and these straw toppers. And, um, you know, I make all kinds of molds. So, 
you know, I don't get as much activity as I did when I was just doing the crystals. And, um, and I came across a lot of these things and I thought, oh, they would make great, great molds. So here we are. So here is what was told to me it was a heart, but it's more like a rounded triangle. It has a, a juicy center in it. So I um I just have to come over to this side when I'm opening them and do a little uh, opening video on them and then I'll come back to the center. Come on now. There you go. Now, right when it pulls like that, I pull my thumb in and I just pull on that because the druzy goes underneath. Look at that. It's pretty on either side. I wish you could see that better. hard to see. Okay. Now you can see that a little bit better. My lighting is so bad. I'm so sorry about that. So um, I used some mermaid color, which you can't tell. The resin, you can see it's blue on that one. So that's the one. This is the one that I did the, like a lavenderish color on then. But the Druzy really is a sweet little sparkle that it's going on there. And then through the back, because what I do is I brush the pigments on with the brush and then I fill it with clear. So that's how you can still see that. So that's listed up on the site. I think this mold, I think this mold is only 20. And of course there's coupon codes on the homepage. So I think that came out pretty adorable. Let me get my photo of that quick before I forget. Okay. Multitasking here. This little girl is so sweet. She's so cute. how adorable she came out. She's got the color shift iridescent dress on her, the lavender ribbon, and I put the yellow pigments for her blonde hair. So she's three inches long. You know what? I think these little molds might be 15. I can't remember. I have a terrible time with my memory. Please go check out the site. Let me grab my picture of this little one. I love that. This is this is really old. That image was really old. And I thought it would be perfect. So I want to show off this one. This was brushed. 
Oh, thanks, Lori. Um, so this was brushed with my new Lee Cranch Spun Gold Mica Pigment that I just started selling on the website. I had this imported from out of the country. It is a stunner. Super gold, super bright, so beautiful. It's so exciting just to look at just when you brush it on, let <laughs> alone when you do anything else with it. It's incredible. And I was floored by it, and I was like, I have to sell that. So <clears throat> going to open this one. That's a Lee Cranch Spun Gold Mica Powder for sale on Lee Cranch Creations. Dot com. Look how gorgeous and bright that is. Let me just do my picture real quick. That really is so bright. Now there's some little specks on here from when I unmolded my master. So there was some silver on here before I got the gold on. But look at that. This is 10 grams for $9 on the site. This is super special. Um, I'm hoping I could get more in. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually have to sell. Um, once it's gone, but it, it was a pretty penny, let me tell you. But it was worth it. I mean, I'm so in love with it just for my own uses. Gorgeous. So this, again, is a frame. You would put a picture behind there. How awesome is that? I can't believe how bright that is. That is super cool. Isn't it? I know. I gave away a sample on my giveaway for my 500 subscribers on YouTube. Um, I sent a few samples over to Canada with some orders a couple months back. I've had it for like three, four months now. And I just recently listed it. Um, I, I don't have fancy containers to put it in. I'm just putting it in bags. And that's what I was kind of waiting for. But then Christmas came and I have, a, you know... I have a lot of responsibilities, so I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to have to use a little Ziploc bag with it, you know. Um, so I finally listed it up, and um, I think a couple people have ordered it so far, and I've gotten some YouTube videos made on it already, so that's good. But this I absolutely love, and the color is absolutely amazing. This color, I have to tell you about this color. Uh, it's from Black Diamond. Wait, is that the Caribbean Blue? No. Um, I believe it's the Blue Green. Here it is. Look at that. Black Diamond Blue Green. That is so kick-ass. So beautiful. Oh, Lori, that's sweet. Yeah, they would have to be little jars because I'm not selling them in big quantities. But yeah, I would trade you out. Um, if you want to send me those, I'll send you the. I'll send you some of the. Um, the pigment, the mica. Okay. Yeah, my. Um, I think my business address is on the about info for the channel. Um, if not, you could email me at leecranchcreations at gmail.com. Okay. Thank you. My little granddaughter came down to talk to me. Give me a kiss. All right, go do your ABCs. Okay, great, Lori. That's very sweet of you. I'll be happy to send you some for a trade. I'm talking to the world. I'm on YouTube right now. I love you. Love you. <laughs> She's a trip. 
she's going to be getting registered for kindergarten. All right. That is gorgeous. That mold is listed up on lacranchcreations.com. That is kick ass. That is amazing. The original was a, um, a gray army blue. It was not attractive at all. So then I put a little bit of the LaCranche spun gold mica in there. And then that blue green by black diamond. That is beautiful. I'm in love with this. Wow. A little bit of over pour there, but <clears throat> they come right off. The epoxy that I used was the general epoxy from the epoxy resin store. Um, I lied. Wait a minute. It's called, I have a bunch of theirs. I think it was the 7,000 one. Hold on. I've been using the general one, but Hold on a second. I hate to misquote someone else's product. Clearcast 7000. That's what I used. And again, this is the new skull mold. This was the general general epoxy of theirs that I used to pour this. So I, I ended up pouring this in layers, but that's the new mold. It's very substantial. Right now I have it on sale, and I have a coupon on the homepage, so you'll get a $55 discount off of this mold if you, check, if you use both of those because it's on sale. It's not going to be on sale for long, but... That's amaze balls right there. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's do the other bunny one. Okay, that came out super adorable. So the little picture would go in the center. So, you know, if you're willing to take the time, I mean, you can always cast these and then paint on the outside of them. But, you know, if you're watching TV or watching YouTube and you've got nothing better to do, you can sit around and use your brush technique with the pigments. And I think that came out adorable. You know, I could still embellish the eye a little bit and go over a little bit of detail there. I love that. I love how that came out. I love bunnies. Okay.
Look at that. That I used the um, lavender, and then I put some mermaid colors around that one. I wish I could get the lighting better. Hard to see the druzy on that one. Let's see if I can shine that up. Hold on. Okay, great, Lori. Thanks. I love how that one came out. So there's a little booty Buddha mold here we're going to get out. He's adorable. Okay. Is he just adorable? So in this mold, he comes here, and the moon is here. And that's got baby druzies in there. And I did get some pigments on them, but if they if that was just left clear with clear, they would be sparkling even more. But those have some pastel pigments on them. <clears throat> so I really love how that one turned out. Well, I love how they all turned out. And we have one more. I got ladybugs flying around like crazy here. It's just starting to become springtime here in the Pennsylvania mountains where I live. We still have some pretty cold nights, and we may even get another snowstorm, but we're getting a lot of signs of spring going on. That turned out super pretty. Look how beautiful. And again, we use the Lee Cranch Creation Spun Gold Mica around the inside of that frame that's a beautiful picture frame beautiful 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 this one is so bright i'm going to make a bunch of these and uh find somewhere's in the house to glue them. <laughs> I think they're going to look beautiful in my bathroom. My bathroom is all the blues and the pastels and mermaids and peacocks. So I think I'm going to put some of these on the edges of the windows and the doorways on the corner tops of the doorways. They're going to look really sharp up there. And I think the bunnies, bunny frames, turned out amazing. So I'm going to end up doing a live where I'm going to um, redo my bunnies on uh, one of the lives and do the brush technique live. So you all can see how I do that. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, congratulations to Naptime Creations who won the 
500 subscriber giveaway for our channel. Um, her video is up on my channel. I have listed 26, 27 videos of other artists using my molds. And she made a, a, mold, a, a video already. And it's fantastic. And uh, she was really happy. So please check out the website at lacrangecreations.com. And there's a coupon code on the homepage. Um, please join the members area because I'm also going to be putting other codes in there that won't be seen on the homepage. I'm trying to get uh, some more people to go into the members area and join up there so they could see other things people can't. I have a Facebook page called LaCranch Creations. I do have a Facebook group where I ask people to post their creations to the group. Um, not a lot of activity on there, really. But a lot, there's over 100 people in there. Um, a couple people, I think, have listed. But I mostly post in there when I get the time. And uh, I have a LaCranch Creations TikTok. I have a LaCranch Creations Instagram with well over 700 postings of my creations. And uh, the ladybugs are having a good time with my lighting down in here. So I'm really grateful for uh, all your love and support, all your emails, all your comments, all your likes, uh, all your shares. Please feel free to share my mold videos. Um, I don't do a lot of advertising, and I try not to spam the groups and upset anyone. So I could use... Uh, your help in sharing what I do and sharing my website information and my coupon code. So any help you can give me would greatly be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you again real soon. Thank you so much. Be safe out there, people. No handshaking, no kissing and hugging. Do the little foot tap and a little wiggle and maybe do the bump. I love you all. Thank you so much. Many blessings.